Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So, I was going on setting up some of my uh, things in uh, the motherboard that I just did a review on last week. And something that a lot of people don't look at too much anymore is Dragon Center, MSI's Dragon Center. So it's the software that comes with your motherboard that allows you to control RGB lighting, all kinds of good stuff. Um, so I thought I'd show you a little bit about that. Simply because in the past it hasn't been that great. But now I've seen a few more things that I didn't know about. And I thought maybe you don't know about. So let's go on a little journey and see what you think. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open what's called Dragon Center. Just double click it to open it. You'll see it loads up. It doesn't take very long. It has all kinds of different things in here. It says your CPU settings. Now I was just using it, so now it's coming down. You can set your performance. Okay, so you can change the, um, pro you can, if you've got profiles set up, you can go silent mode, overclock mode. Now this applies to your system itself and I believe your CPU fan. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to look at. So when you first go in here, you got Mystic Light. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to that again here. Mystic Light down here in the corner. So when you first do it, you're going to have to install it. It'll download from the internet and then it's good to go. And so it will give you the latest updated driver from there. So when you click on it, you want to go over here. I've already done this and this is all sync. So it's going to sync up your motherboard and the uh, Wraith Prism Cooler, which now I've never had that work before, so I, I find that pretty cool. So once you've got them both working, and you can see here I've got them green, and the motherboard is flashing green because it's on breathing. But just to show you that it does work, I'm actually going to change it to a different color. Let's, uh, oh, let's go with red. Is it red? Yeah. And click Apply. No, I don't know why it needs to be done twice, but it does seem to be. So now you can see it's changed to red. Now, again, you're not going to be able to independently change all your different colors, like your ring and your AMD and the fan. But if you want to do it all at once, everything together, this is what you need to do. Okay, so you can unlink them here and then use them separately and, and control them all on your own. Or you can just keep it here, you can go to flashing, and you can see it, okay, if you're looking down here, you can see that it's flashing, but once you apply it, it just flashes. Now, that is something I've never seen before, I don't know if it's a new update, or what it is, I find it pretty cool. And of course, steady, which is kind of my preferred, I like it to be steady. Put it on whatever color I want. Um, we'll go back to, oh, let's pick, uh, I think let's try more of a purple. So I think it's down here. Did I get that right? Let's find out. Let's click apply. Yes. So you can see it's changed. It, it's, it's, it is purple. Doesn't show quite as well as I would like, but the motherboard is, flat, is purple solid. And, of course, you can change them all around as you like. Dragon Center did not used to work very well at all. So this is kind of a big thing. And you can play with it independently. If you want to just go here and change that up, I believe you can actually even do that. So you can change this on its own. Change it. Let's just, let's find out. Let's change it to green. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. And click apply and see what happens. So, you've still got the motherboard set, and now that's working independently. And see, now the little sink has gone off of it. So, you click it back on, click that back on. But it's not until you change and hit the sink for everything over here that everything is going to work together. So, you can choose what you want to do. You can choose to independently set your Wraith Prism Cooler and your motherboard separately 
or to have them set both at the same time. That was never something I could get to do before. It's never worked in the past. Uh, I think that's a pretty significant uh, upgrade to their software. Now, maybe you knew this before, so that's great. Um, but I certainly did not. And there we go. Okay, so it's... Uh, yeah, okay, so it took a couple... I'm not sure why it flashed a couple times there, but it's on a steady color now. So that is just something I wanted to show you real quick that you now can do that. So you don't need the Cooler Master Wraith Prism software unless you want to do it just independently on its own and control each individual color for the AMD logo, the ring, and the fan. Okay, because when you, when you unsync them, you still can't do that. I don't think. So let's try that and see what happens. Let's go back to the CPU cooler uh, and see what we can do. Let's, does it let us do that? I don't think it does. Uh, light speed, brightness. No, it doesn't seem to, uh, it doesn't seem to do that. All right, so I thought that was an interesting update, and I thought I would share it with you. All right, everybody, so I know this video is pretty short, but that was a significant uh, difference and change in the MSI Dragon Center. It's completely different than what it was when I looked at it last, and it actually seems to work. So you don't want to download the Wraith Prism Cooler uh, from Cooler Master Software. You don't got to. Now... I don't know if this is working with any other motherboards, but with MSIs, it now works. You've just seen it. So you can independently control your um, Wraith Prism cooler or your motherboard to have different colors. Or you can keep the Wraith uh, Prism software from Cooler Master that you downloaded that I showed you in my last video and change that independently here for a different color and still change the motherboard software and have whatever color scheme you want. So you've got lots of options. Uh, I just wanted to put that out there and let you know. So anyway, if you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications for videos coming up. And thanks for watching. And as always, in this time, wash those hands, social distancing, and please stay safe. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.